In this video I'm going to try and help you understand why we see the Milky Way in such apparently strange orientations across our night skies. At some point we can actually see it coming from say our northwest to our southeast, other times it would be from our northeast to our southwest. There's other times when it appears to ring our horizon and then there are other times as well when it appears to across the southern horizon and I'm talking about this is the situation that we would be seeing from um, approximately the latitude of Johannesburg or Pretoria in southern Africa. So to try and understand this it is really helpful to use a model. So I have developed this model, the Milky Way, this is the disk, the Milky Way disk, there is the center of that galaxy and this here is more or less where the Earth is situated in our galaxy. Uh, it's approximately two-thirds of the way to the edge and it is lying in this direction away from the tangent and it is tilted over at that sort of angle. So let's have a look and see what the effects are of being in different positions. Just bear in mind when we are looking at this model that somewhere here is the Sun. The Sun could either be there or over there. Of course it is the Earth that would be moving around the Sun, orbiting around the Sun once a year. So we take the Sun out of the equation here and uh, we all that the only difference the Sun would make in this here is that it, it, it determines at which time of the year we can see the different parts of the Milky Way. If the Sun were over here we'd be able to see the outskirts of the Milky Way. If we go back to that side there and the Sun were over here we would then be able to see into the night and we'd see the center of the Milky Way. But enough of that. If we first of all take the Earth and we rotate the Earth and this is of course what it does every day it rotates once and we rotate it to the position where Africa is looking in the direction of the center of the galaxy and from this position we can see that the disk of the Milky Way extends from the northeast all the way through to the southwest. Now 12 hours later the Earth would be on this side and if we have a look over here now we can see the disk of the Milky Way is now no longer from northeast to southwest but it is now from northwest through to southeast so that is how you would see the Milky Way arcing over your sky. Let's go to another situation. Let's say the Earth was orientated this way. And what we'd find is you'd be there. And what you would then be able to see, if you looked in your southerly direction, there you would see an arc of the Milky Way extending across your southern horizon. Let's move again to the fourth position. And here we have the Earth. at this position and if we look at this we would be standing upright here on this little earth and what we would then see is if we looked around us we would see the Milky Way all the way around our horizon. Of course the positions in between will also give us views of the Milky Way also somewhere in between those four uh, orientations or four directions that I've shown. So we'll just go through them once again. There is the Milky Way extending from the northeast to the southwest. There we have the Milky Way across our southern horizon. In the Earth in that position we have the Milky Way extending from our northwest through to our southeast. And then the fourth position if we are now standing upright over here then we can all the way, look all the way around us and that is where we will see the Milky Way all the way around our horizon. So I'm pretty sure that a model such as this helps to understand something that is actually very complex and to try and wrap your mind around what you are seeing in the sky is very very difficult. 
So I hope this model has made a big difference and helped you understand why you see the Milky Way in its different orientations across our night sky.